bacon, egg, and cheese Japanese style multi-layered omelet. In a bowl, combine a few eggs with soy sauce, mirin, onion powder, salt, and pepper. Place a tomogoyaki pan on medium heat. Spray the pan with olive oil, then add the egg mixture and wait until it cooks a bit. Add a string cheese stick to the top of it, then fold the egg over and place it back at the top. Add some more egg and wait till it cooks a bit, then place down a piece of bacon. Repeat this process a few more times. The size of the pan will determine how many layers you're gonna get. Cook the egg for an additional 30 seconds to a minute to seal the egg and then slice it into four pieces. Never skip egg day. Garlic Parmesan Potato Wedges Cut a potato in half and then cut them in half again. Turn it over and carefully cut it in the middle to make the wedge. Combine the potatoes in a bowl with olive oil, salt, and minced garlic, then toss them to coat. Place the potatoes cut side down on a baking sheet and bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Take them out, flip them, and bake them for another 10 minutes. Add the potatoes to a bowl, toss them with a little bit of olive oil and some Parmesan cheese. Then bake them again for 5-7 to seven minutes until the Parmesan cheese is crispy. You can enjoy them on their own or as a side for your favorite steak. Breakfast quesadilla, except the tortilla is made of cheese. On medium heat, cover the bottom of a frying pan in mozzarella cheese. Then add two eggs to one side. On the other side, add some bacon and some breakfast potatoes. Cook it for four to five minutes until you see the edges of the cheese start to get brown. Slide the cheese off the frying pan onto a cutting board. Fold the egg side over the bacon and potatoes. Let it sit for a couple seconds, then cut it into four equal wedges. Chocolate banana french toast roll-ups. Start by combining a few eggs with some cinnamon and some milk. Peel a banana from the bottom, not the top. Then cut it the same exact width as the piece of bread you're using. Lay down a piece of bread, then using a rolling pin, flatten it out on both sides. Spread some chocolate ganache or some Nutella over the piece of bread. Then add a slice of banana and tightly roll the entire thing up. Add it to your egg mixture and cover it completely. Take it out the egg mixture, letting the excess egg drip off. Fry it on all sides until each side is golden brown this awesome egg hack on TikTok, so I turned it into a breakfast sandwich. Spray a slotted spoon and a frying pan with some cooking spray. With the pan on medium heat, add a couple eggs into the spoon. The slots of the spoon will separate the whites from the yolks. Then add the yolks to the center. Add a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese, then some bacon bits, and season with some black pepper. When the edges of the egg start to brown, fold each side to create a pocket. Then flip the egg and cook for a few seconds. Remove the egg from the frying pan and add it to a few slices of toast. Never skip egg day. Lasagna Cupcakes In a bowl, combine ricotta cheese, mozzarella, parmesan, parsley, one egg, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and olive oil. For the cupcake holder, add parmesan cheese to a frying pan. When it gets crispy, take it off and place it inside of a cupcake tray. Add mozzarella cheese to the bottom of each cupcake slot and set it aside. Lay down a cooked lasagna noodle. Add some of the ricotta filling and your favorite marinara or meat sauce. Then roll up the noodles and place it inside each one of the cupcake slots. Sprinkle on some more mozzarella. Bake at 400 for 20 minutes. Garnish with parsley or chopped basil and place it in each one of the parmesan cups. Oreo French toast with Oreo syrup. First thing you're going to want to do is crush up a bunch of Oreos, then set it aside. In a bowl, combine eggs with a little bit of milk and some of those crushed Oreos. I use thick cut bread, but you can use any bread you want and dunk it in the egg Oreo mixture. On a medium pan, fry each side for roughly one minute. For the Oreo syrup, combine some powdered sugar with a little bit of milk and the crushed up Oreos. Careful not to over mix it or else it'll turn gray. Stack your Oreo French toast, I'm a three stack guy, and then cover it in the Oreo syrup. Garnish with a little bit more crushed up Oreos. Pepperoni pizzas, except they're made inside of a bowl. Roll out your favorite pizza dough, then spray an oven-safe bowl or a ramekin with cooking oil. Add a few slices of mozzarella overlapping so that the bottom is completely covered. Lay down a few slices of pepperoni and then cover the entire thing in pizza sauce. Cover the ramekin or the bowl with the pizza dough and then use a pizza cutter to cut off the excess dough. Remove the dough and then press it into the sides to secure it. Put it on a baking sheet and bake it at 450 for 25 minutes. Carefully take it out the oven, then use a knife to run it alongside the ramekin or bowl to release. Pepperoni pizza, but make them roses for Valentine's Day. Start off with a sheet of pre-made pizza dough. Cut it into strips just like this. Lay down some sliced mozzarella cheese along the entire strip of pizza dough. Add a line of your favorite pizza sauce. Place some half cut slices of large pepperoni down the strip of pizza dough. Starting at one end, roll the entire thing up like this. Fit each one inside of a muffin tray. Then add a little bit of oregano on top of each. Bake it in a 425 degree oven for roughly 15 minutes. Happy pepperoni pizza Valentine's Day. This is how you make the perfect breakfast potatoes. Cut the ends off a Yukon gold potato, then small dice it and add it to a pot of salted water and boil them for roughly 10 minutes. Drain the potatoes and then add some olive oil and butter to a medium high frying pan. Add the potatoes, then toss them in the olive oil and butter. Cook them without stirring for roughly three minutes. Give them a toss, then add some onion powder, a little bit of smoked paprika, some garlic powder, and some salt. Cook them for three more minutes and then mix in some chopped parsley. Eat them on their own or with some bacon and eggs. Never skip egg day. I saw this toaster hack. 
so I turned it into a breakfast sandwich. Cut the crust off two slices of white bread. I use Wonder Bread. Spread some mayonnaise on each slice of bread so that it'll stick. Add some sliced cheddar cheese to one slice of bread. Place the other slice of bread on top, then using a fork, crimp the edges to seal in the cheese. Repeat it again for a second piece, then put it in the toaster on low. Take the cheesy toast out of the toaster and then make your breakfast sandwich. Add a little bit of cheesy egg, then a little bit more cheese. Place down your sausage patty and that's how you make a toaster breakfast sandwich.